my channel. So this is my second Halloween tutorial, um, which is a spider look. So just really, really pale skin, sort of red glittery eyes, and then those cobwebs. Um, and obviously you can add any spider paraphernalia. So I've got on here a spider ring. I've also got this spider nail set from Claire's Accessories. Um, I haven't put the whole set on because I've got to go to work tomorrow morning. So I didn't think I should really go with the whole set of false Halloween nails. Um, also got these um, spider web earrings. Obviously there's so much out there on the market. I also wanted to show you guys this, which I also picked up from Claire's Accessories. Um, so if you don't want to draw on any of these cobwebs, because they are a bit you know, fiddling, time consuming, you can just use these temporary tattoos. Um, and I'm actually going to do this look for my own Halloween party. Um, I think I'm going to use some of these tattoos sort of more on like my arms and my chest area. So these are really, really handy if you're in the UK and can get to a Claire's Accessories and they're really, really inexpensive. These were £5, so really not too pricey. So I really hope you guys enjoy this look and have a great time, whatever it is that you are doing for Halloween. Um, I have also filmed and uploaded a zombie apocalypse tutorial, which is a bit more of a scary, dead looking person look. So if that's more what you're looking for, then do check out that video as well. I'll post the link below. So thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Thank you, see you soon, bye. Okay, so I'm going to start with this Rimmel Match Perfection Foundation, the palest colour that they sell. This would be perfect for those of you with a bit of a darker skin tone, but unfortunately for me, this actually pretty much matches my skin tone. However, if you are pale like me, you can buy face and body in MAC um, in a really white colour, so that's the other option if you are really pale. So then for the eyes, I'm going to use this paint pot that's by um, a brand in Boots. I'll link it all down below for you. Just a really purpley reddish colour just to use as a base. If you have a red base, then that would be even better. Or you could even use a um, red lip liner. And then I'm going to use this ginormous palette from e.l.f. There was 100 shades here for £15. So great if you need a variety. And I'm going to take this red colour just at the top here. And I'm just going to pop this all over the lid just to start creating that sort of uh, red eye look which is perfect for any sort of Halloween look. I'm just using a big fluffy blending brush not being particularly neat with this which is why this look is so easy because there's nothing that has to be neat. Then just using a white eyeliner on the waterline. Then I'm just going to use the Too Faced Shadow Insurance Glitter Glue just going to pop this all over the lid to prime the eyes for glitter. Then I'm just using this MAC Loose Pigment. This was a limited edition shade, which I don't think is available anymore, but any pink or red glittery color would be perfect. This one was a limited edition in their Christmas collection, which is why I don't think it's available. Then I'm using a red lip liner. Obviously, if you have a red eyeliner, then great, but just popping this underneath the um, lower lashes um, and just going as thick as um, you want to with this. Then just popping on some black eyeshadow, and again, not particularly neatly, we're just buffing this into the outer corner just to create a bit more darkness. And then just popping on some mascara. Then I'm going in with these awesome spooky lashes by Isla. You can buy these at Feel Unique, and just popping these on over with my natural lashes. These, again, are not the easiest to apply or the most comfortable to wear, but they do look perfect, especially for a spider look, as they effectively are a spider's web. Um, but if you're not confident with lashes, then I wouldn't necessarily recommend these. Um, you might need to practice putting them on beforehand. And then just popping on some purple mascara onto the lower lashes. Again, this is something I picked up from Superdrug, so I'm sure your local beauty store or drugstore will have these types of colours, especially around Halloween. Just popping this on the lower lashes. Then just going in with this loose powder by MAC, lots of different brands do them, Laura Mercier, Makeup Forever, any white translucent powder just to make this even more pale and ghost-like. And then just literally just popping this on all over my face with a large um, powder brush. Then going in with some black eyeliner, this is Black Tracks from MAC. And then I'm just going to draw some really extreme eyebrows and obviously doing this with a black gel, they're going to stand out a lot more. So I'm just creating an arch that's much higher than my natural one and making it quite pointy um, so it'll be a bit more of a scary look. So just pointing this out and then extending the tail of the eyebrow as well, connecting that back up with the start and then just filling it in um, as dark as possible. So you can see the difference between my natural brow and that one. Then just popping on um, these really um, cool toned sort of brown and black colours from a Makeup Revolution palette 
just to um, bring some definition into the cheekbones. Any black or brown colour will do, just make sure it's a cool tone, not a warm tone. And then I'm going to start drawing in my cobwebs. I'm just using um, a black eyeliner for this. Um, you can go in with a liquid eyeliner or a gel eyeliner if you are more confident, but I think the easiest way is to start off with a pencil. So if you make a mistake, it's much easier to remove. So it's really, really simple. Just start off by drawing a star and then you can just start create, uh, and connecting the lines and creating that web. Again, this hasn't got to be perfect. This is meant to be a natural spider's web, which never would be even. Um, so you don't, haven't got to be an artist to be able to you know, draw this on properly. So just do as much as you want to make it as big or as small as you like. And I'm just creating another one just in the corner and connecting that to my eyebrow. And um, this one was much easier to draw. I'm just popping on some silver eyeshadow just to try and create a bit more of a shadow um, within the cobweb, just to create a bit more definition and make it look a bit more lifelike and not just drawn flat to the face. And again, doing the same thing on the bigger cobweb. You could also use a black eyeshadow if you wanted to, but just be careful that you don't cover up um, too much of the lines of the cobweb. And then I am now going over with um, that same Black Tracks gel liner by MAC, just to make it stand out a bit more um, against my pale skin. Like I said, if you are confident of drawing cobwebs, go ahead straight away with the gel eyeliner. But this is just a method that makes things a little bit easier, um, and, you know, just to make life easier for ourselves. It's just going over most of those lines just to make this stand out a lot more. And then just going in with a red lip liner. I think this is um, Red Brick by MAC, um, but any red lip liner will do. Um, and just popping this on just in the middle um, of the lip area and um, on the top, because we're going to use a darker colour um, on the outer areas of the lip. And then it's popping on a bright red lipstick. This is Atomic Red by Makeup Revolutions. Just a really, really bright cherry colour red lipstick, which is exactly what we want for this look. And again, only popping this um, in the middle of the lip and leaving the outer corners bare. And then I'm going in with a black lipstick um, on the outer corners to try and create a bit more of an ombre um, lip effect. So just popping this up to the red and then taping a lip brush and blending the two colours together just so they look a bit more natural and there's not that harsh line in between where the colours change. And that is the finished look, so I really hope that you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching.